Yeah, congratulations, Richie Murphy, two in a row, Grand Slam winner. And again, the parallels continue, Alan, with the senior side. Beat England to win a Grand Slam and fend off France. And then there's a World Cup to worry about. Yeah, it doesn't get any better, really, for these guys. And, uh, you know, I like the fact that Richie Murphy mentioned the word brave and ambitious and, and playing to their strengths, which is trying to find the space. And that's been the key throughout this championship. Um, that attack, that, that space, that... Um, ability to kind of change games when they're under pressure and, and really go for it. And it does, it, does, it does feel like Irish rugby is really leaning in to attacking play, forwards, ball handling skills being at a certain level. I mean, like yeah, a sense of adventure so. as opposed yeah, to. Yeah, I think so. I think there's a. Uh, yeah, there is a change in the way, and, and, and I think um, it's, it's something that um, is really pleasing to see mm. because. I think we we probably had a period of time, uh, probably after the World Cup in 2015. I remember that it was the Southern Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere, and it was continuous talk about the way they attack in Australia, New Zealand, um, and that we have a problem in the Northern Hemisphere with it. Um, and it probably was at the top level game. You know, lots of teams are kicking a lot. There's still a lot of kicking in the game. The difference with these guys, Joe, is they're. They're not programmed into that, naturally kick the letter off the ball and slow it down. Young kids want to play rugby. They're all used to running when they play with their schools or their clubs and, and attacking. We, we sometimes change the dynamic of the team mm -hmm. by slowing things down and, and having a more forward-orientated approach. That's fine in bad weather, but look, the point is these kids naturally want to attack. And I think Richie Murphy has alluded to the fact that that's their strength. I think there's the other thing, there was this Rushing defence dominated rugby for a number of years. Fast-paced rugby with fast ruck time doesn't allow the defence to get organised. And if you have good skills to move the ball to space and good footwork prior to contact, all things that we were not seeing from Irish rugby there for a number of years, th then, then uh, rushing defence dominates. The way Irish rugby is playing, and France and New Zealand, and it has to be said Australia are trying to, but let, they have lesser skills. Yeah. It, it does not allow rushing defence to dominate you. And the LQB, lightning quick ball, if you get LQB as the Kiwis call it, lightning quick ball at rucks, it destroys defences. And then you add offloads, which is what this team did, it, it, it attack then dominates defence. And that is brilliant for the game, because the ball is in play much more. We saw last night, there was only, I think it was the 27th minute before we saw the first scrum. It's entertaining and it's fun. It's also interesting, the, the boys are still doing their lap of honour. We're talking about them going to a World Cup. You know, let them finish their lap of honour. Let them enjoy tonight. Let them suck in the confidence that the way they're playing, have confidence in the style and the philosophy and the techniques, and then go off and take that technique and philosophy and the joy of winning into the World Cup. What's so exciting is you watch this team play, similar to last year's team as well, and they're very comfortable in the shape that the senior yeah. side are playing. We're yeah. seeing these pods of three and options, front and back door, and we're seeing a group that are more than comfortable to throw offloads and, yeah. and, 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 and fit into this uh, system uh, seamlessly, which is so effective at senior level. Like, I dare say, more seasoned, current but, senior Joe, players I... didn't play this style of rugby in their 20s. Yeah. So, like, the future is so bright. They'll, they'll, so they'll take to it like they, ducks to water. A perfect example of the number one ranked team in the world is the Irish side at the moment. And you mentioned Matt France are playing brilliant attacking rugby. There's there's a bit of method to the France's madness. Yeah. We always know that flair was always there, but now they're doing it. Um, they still have that individual brilliance. We, we would have always looked at other teams, particularly in New Zealand, the All Blacks. What are they doing? What, yeah. Where are they attacking? What new line out do they have? These guys can look upstairs, basically, and see what Ireland are doing, mm. the way they're being coached. Um, I'm sure Richie Murphy is watching that closely, trying to implement similar stuff. The provinces are doing well here. Um, so, yeah, the structures are really good, and the mindset is changed to the point of tempo rugby. You know, under Joe Schmidt, our breakdown was exceptional mm. for four or five years. Uh, regards the speed of ball, the lack of turnover, the ball being turned over, the accuracy, all that kind of stuff. But the Irish team played a little bit differently and their kick game was phenomenal. Their, uh, the, their ability to win the ball back in the air and all that stuff. Things have changed and the game has changed as well in general, not just for Ireland. 
the attacking teams get are getting rewarded yeah. and they're more ambitious. Yeah. So long may that continue right across Absolutely. the board. Yes. Now South Africa Absolutely. won a World Cup in 2019 and, and they were very, very dominant in what yeah. they did, but it was done with power and pace as well. 